It's another edition of Thai Cuisine. We're at Willow's Inn on Lummi Island with Chef Craig Miller. And Craig, what do you have for us today? Uh, we're going to do a couple of things, actually. We're going to use um, our wood stone oven here in the kitchen, which is one of my favorite tools. And we're going to make some focaccia. We make all our, our own bread here every day. From scratch? From scratch. Very good. And um, so we're going to do a little bit of that. And then we're also going to use um, our reef net sockeye, which is from our salmon fishery here on the island. We're going to score that, and we're going to brush it with some olive oil and bacon fat. Season that, stick it in the wood stone, and then uh, we're going to dress that with some cipollini onions. Okay, what we got here? This is the bread. We're going to start with that. Um, I make one pound loaves, and we do this, uh, we do this every day. Uh, it goes through uh, an overnight rise, and then we proof it during the day. And then we're going to put that. Focaccia is a really, it's a really simple dough. It tends to be a little bit messy, almost like a ciabatta. Ciabatta tends to be a little bit wetter. Yeah, how does this differ from, like, just, say, a loaf of bread or a, you know, a loaf of French bread? Well, or something that would accompany sure. a, uh, Well, uh, something like a, a baguette needs to be, um, good question, needs to be rolled out and scored. And you really need more of a, you need more of a mold. And focaccia is a little bit more rustic. A little bit more rustic. It's a simpler dough. And it doesn't need the, um, perhaps, the structure mm -hmm. that a, um, a finer loaf would. It's easy for us because, you know, I'm not a baker. But we do like to make our own right. our own uh, bread here. Now I mentioned, or you mentioned earlier, you know, you make the focaccia from yeah. scratch, and you also get the salmon here locally. Right. Is that your philosophy here at Willow's Inn? You try yeah. to use local products, make things to, from scratch. We try to be as local as possible. And um, you know, I use a, for example, I use this. This is a great organic Spanish olive oil that we get in bulk, not local, but it's the best we can do. Right. If there was someone producing olive oil locally, I would be using that. So I say we're like 80 to 85% self-sufficient on the island uh, in the summertime. And then a little um, sea salt. This is a coarse sea salt. It's a combination actually of a Hawaiian black salt and a um, English uh, sea salt. So it looks a little gray. And then that's all I put on that. That's going to go in the oven here. The uh, wood stone, is, the temperature differs quite a bit. You can see it's 540 degrees here. And so the coolest part of the oven is this semicircle right in front of the flame. So most of the bread that I put in, when I first put it in, I load it here in this cooler zone. The hottest part is, of course, directly in front of the flame. And then I'll rotate that in about two or three minutes. All right, so we're going to pull this out. Now it's got, it's got some good color on it, as you can see. It's nice and evenly brown all the way around. And then we're just going to let that rest for about 10 or 15 minutes. That allows the crust to sort of settle down, let some of the moisture uh, escape, and lets the uh, crust go from this real hard to a chewy outside. And now to the salmon. Salmon. Yes, this is a sockeye filet, again caught here on the island. Uh, sockeye a little bit higher in fat than your other salmons like king salmon or pink salmon, so it's got lots of flavor. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, this is how we would do a salmon for a party. I wouldn't necessarily do this on our regular dinner menu, but we're going to score the flesh right down to the skin. Leaving the flesh, I'm sorry, leaving the skin on, and then we're just going to give it a little kosher salt, and then we'll give it a little white pepper. Yeah. Now, why do you do that? Why did you make those cuts? Well, what it's going to do is once that goes in the oven, once the salmon is cooked, it's going to slip right off the skin, and it can go right off the skin onto a buffet or onto oh, a plate. Oh, okay. So it's really handy that way, and that way you don't dry out the other side of the fish. Can you talk about the different tastes for the different types of salmon? Because all salmon is sure. not the same. No, ab absolutely not. This is sockeye. This is my personal favorite. Um, because it has so much flavor, it has so much fat. You can see this belly fat here along the bottom here that's filled with flavor. Um, king salmon, which a lot of chefs prefer. I think most chefs prefer it because it's a nice thick steak that looks nice on a plate, whereas the sockeye tends to be a smaller, smaller fish, like a, uh, a um, steelhead, for instance. And um, pink salmon also, which is uh, something we catch later in the year, um, has a lot less fat and a lot less flavor. So it's actually a carrier for flavor when you add things like you know, lots of herbs or fats. You can baste it with duck fat. You can baste it with olive oil. In this case, we're actually going to take uh, bacon fat, which I have here, mix some of that organic um, olive oil. And those are lardons, which is really a culinary euphemism for bacon bits. It smells great, I'll tell you. It does smell great. <laughs> so that's a combination of organic olive oil and bacon fat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to baste that, baste the fish with this. Like I said, you could use duck fat, you could use plain old olive oil, or you could use clarified butter, which I use a lot. Now this is going to go in the wood stone. I've cranked the flame up so it's really hot. 
If you were to look at a cross section of this wood stone, you'd see that it has a domed top. That forces the heat from the back of the oven into a circular motion. And so you have a lot of heat coming down from the top, a lot of searing heat. And if you put your hand in there, you can feel that. It's great for glazing ducks, crisping up the skin on chicken. And that salmon's only going to take about five or six minutes to cook. So now the salmon is done, you can hear that. I'm going to pull this out. And you can see how those individual fillets are wow. separated, which makes it very easy for serving. I like to cook my salmon until it's just a little fleshy in the center. And then I'm going to brush it once more with this olive oil and bacon fat. Oh, that smells great. Doesn't that smell great? Now I have these cipollini onions, these really nice Italian cipollini onions. They're nice and flat. They're a little bit richer and more flavorful than regular onions. And I've chopped those up, tossed them with some more of that olive oil, and roasted them in the wood stone. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to combine that with the bacon that we rendered the fat out of to brush the salmon with. Add a little bit more olive oil to that. Okay, when do we eat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting this there. Looks almost, great. almost. Yeah, this looks terrific. All right, so what we're going to do is just pull the plate down here. We're going to dress it up a little bit with this balsamic reduction. And then take one of these salmon fillets, and you can see how this just slides right off the skin like that. Put that on the plate like this. Our cipollini onions, rosemary, olive oil, and Lardons. Really complements right the there. taste of the salmon, too. Very much, yeah. Makes it nice and rich. That'll look great. And then we'll come over here and grab this focaccia, cut a little wedge of that, stick that on the plate. And we're, uh, we're ready to eat. That nice belly fat right oh. there with lots of flavor. Good stuff. That, that's very, very good stuff. And it's the kind of thing you can get at Willow's Inn on Lummi Island. We'll see you next time on Thai Cuisine.